What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Doggy Diamonds. This is the Keep It 1000 show. About to get this show started. Waiting for Brother Garfield to come in. He has the call in number to call in. Um, We're going to discuss some things. But before we do that, shout out to everybody who uh, is going to be in the chat room. Shout out to everybody who's in the chat room now. And um, let me run the intro so I can start this. Yeah, so this is the Keeper 1000 show. I am your host, Doggy Diamonds. Doggy Diamonds TV is the YouTube. Waiting on Brother Garfield to call in. The reason why we're doing this show, I did a show a little while back about scamming within the conscious community. Um, and 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 um I also did a video called Q Butter Goes In the Conscious Community, and in that video. He went in on uh, Garfield and he said some things about Garfield. One thing that I did wrong and I try to be responsible with my journalism is I always give people the opportunity to respond to any allegations against them. And I didn't do that with Garfield and that was wrong of me. So um, I needed to make that right. You know, so I spoke to Garfield and I said to him, you know, I apologize for not giving you the ground the floor to um to respond you know to to people saying things about you i didn't give you a chance to respond and 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 say what you needed to say in defense of your name so and in me doing that um you know i let them be i let it be known that i like to have you on the show so this is where we at now we're gonna have garfield come on i'm gonna ask him a few questions um in reference to the allegations made against him and give him an opportunity in the floor to 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 clear his name so that's what i needed to do uh i don't think everybody is a scammer i don't think everybody is a fraud i don't think that applies to any and everybody but some people do and i think some people are really genuine they really care about our people they really uh want to help people and we got to give them the opportunity to speak their piece when allegations are made against them. And that's just what it is. So that's what I need to do. It's a lot of messy journalism going on in these past few days. And I don't even know if I could call it journalism. Well, it's been longer than the past few days. I don't even know if I could call it journalism. I could just say presentations. There's been a lot of messy presentations going on out and about on YouTube. And um, me being an elder statesman of this shit, I have to kind of come clean up a lot of this filth. So that's what I'm going to do within the next couple of days. It's just really, really, you know, um, you know, just, just really, really have some real proper needed dialogue. So after this, um topic with Garfield I have another one coming on after that I'm gonna do two tonight so um you know I definitely want to uh, uh, speak to you know Garfield and let him you know speak his piece but hopefully everybody out there had a good um holiday with your family I know many people are very anti Thanksgiving great salute to you for being pro or against it whatever you are but you know me personally I use the um I use the time to be with family and, and be around family you know I know I say a lot of things in jest and I be having a good time sometimes I know sometimes I can't tell when I'm serious and when I'm playing but um you could kind of tell when I'm being in in jest because I uh you know I laugh a lot and I, I crack a lot of jokes with that but um you know salute to everybody who spent the time with their family and, and, and ate good laughed and joked and you know and, and and got to see people that they didn't see my um my cousin went to virginia i was a little jealous because he didn't tell me he just went down there and shit i'm like yo you ain't tell me you was going to virginia so he went to see my grandmother uh my grandmother's 82 years old i just learned her age hold on this is garfield calling right now peace garfield you there 
Peace, peace, Doggy Diamonds, Garfield. Can you hear me loud and clear? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Great. I was just giving the people a little brief description about... Right. What the hell is that in the background? You got some Bob Marley playing or something like that? No, oh. my... Um, <laughs> What happened is you have so many ads on your on your channel. Oh, <laughs> so okay. I tune into your channel on my iPhone, and that's what happened. My okay, bad. all right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you got some. Uh... So, all right, I was just giving the people a little brief uh, background of what we were doing and why we were doing this. Um, you know, as far as many allegations against you, one being on my channel and various um, platforms on YouTube. So this was your the time to speak your piece and and, and clear your name. First and foremost, um, who are you? What's your name? Oh, my name is Garfield Reed, man. I could actually say my real name in public. I mean, my name is switched around. I mean, my middle name is, my, is what I use as my first name because Garfield is a unique name for the Caribbean. So okay. it sounds funny to people who are born here, but Garfield is like um, the Michael Jordan of cricket. His name is Garfield Sobers. Okay. So my father would name us off of very prominent people Cassius Clay my other brother got that name and you know some other famous name my big brother had so Garfield is uh from Garfield Sobers not the cartoon okay <laughs> Garfield Sobers yeah okay so that's my name Garfield Reed. Mm -hmm. uh, okay so um I don't know how to take you sometimes the first time I saw you you was presenting a lot of information I think it was uh you battling the the the, the Hebrews at the time, I don't know. I don't think. I think the Moors came after the fact, but I think it was the Hebrews first and foremost when I first saw you on Sinatra Channel. Am I right? Yes, yes. Okay. I was. Um, the I don't know the first time you saw me, but the first time, yeah, actually, the first time I was on the channel was at the Kemetic Conference. Okay. And I spoke about economics, and that's when I, I met Blue Pill that night for the first time. He took my number. And um, the next time I was on Sonic, it was like four months later, I was battling this Hebrew on the streets. Okay. And, and that's then, how a lot of people know me from that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I saw you um, with Rob Bourne and then I just seen you kept saying like dagger, 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 dagger. Then I heard of the dagger squad via you and um, and then, you know, the Armin Ross squad and all these damn squads and you the Masi Warrior Clan. Y'all got like 80 mm -hmm. conscious <laughs> gangs and shit going on. But um. Your your primary group is the Dagger Squad, am I right? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yeah. So um, yeah. I've known you when when I seen you, I I like the um, I liked the inf I liked a lot of information that you was given, but you you know you was providing sources, history, uh, and that's what attracted me to your speaking in the beginning, mm -hmm. and then um later on, and and I and I have no bias, I have no favoritism, you know, it's just certain people mm -hmm. that I like the way they articulate their research and their points a little bit more than others and others. And you was one that was, you know, that attracted, I was attracted to what you were, how you was putting your points out there. And the fact that you was providing sources, um, even though, you know, a lot of my homies is Hebrews, which is, is, you know, we all, we all one to me, but we just have different ideologies and we'll get into that later on. Then, um, mm -hmm. I started hearing you talk about economics and, um, you know, uh, um, credit credit cleaning and 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 um mm -hmm. trade lines and different things like that how did you get into that all right i used to work on a on a, on a station in um, new york i'm actually still working for the station right now and um i used to be on in the morning and um i used to before that i used to there's a brother from brooklyn that does credit that actually clean my credit so what I used to do is I actually used to go on his computer and spy on what he did. Cause I'm like, damn, what the hell, what, what did he do to clean my credit? I got to learn how to do this. Mm -hmm. But this was like 15, 14, 15 years ago. So he cleaned my credit. My sister had passed and I said, you know what, before I spend all this money, she left me like a couple million. So, and, um, literally. <laughs> you said somebody left you a couple so, of million dollars? Yeah. Yeah. My sister, my sister, when she died. Oh, um, so you know, we she, cousins, you know, we cousins, she, right? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> go All ahead. The time. Go ahead, though. <laughs> so when she died, I said, before I squander all this damn money, mm -hmm. um, let me clean my credit. Mm -hmm. And, um, my credit wasn't bad because what I used to do family, I used to lend my credit out. That's how I used to make money at one point. I used to lend my money out, lend my credit out to, um, for people to buy houses. So they would pay me like 35 G's to borrow my credit. 
and they would like invest in houses in in Georgia. So that's when I found out that like, you know it's good having good credit pays and all that stuff. So they would pay me, and then they would flip the houses, then I would get another cut. Got gotcha. so That's how I used to make money. You know, not doing much, just just doing that. And um, when my sister passed. One of the people, because of the Obama thingy, that kind of um, the whole housing crisis or whatever, even before Obama took office, a lot of the houses weren't able to be sold, so they went into foreclosure. So that's what messed up my credit. Gotcha. Not on my behalf, but on their behalf. Gotcha. Um, so, <laughs> all right, cute doggy dog, or whatever, whoever yeah, you Yeah, no, listen, we, right. we'll, we'll get to them in the chat. Let's just keep it going because, you know, they'll, def they'll definitely uh, throw us both off. So we want to stick to the points. We'll address them and we'll let them, you know, have, if they got any questions, we could um, let them do that. But let's really just stick to our points. <laughs> right, right. All right. So anyway, um, she, um, when I decided to work on the radio station or whatever, that's how um, a lot of folks in New York knew me from. And, you know, they knew me through financial improvements and all these different things. So that's how I got into the whole credit thing. But it wasn't only credit, it was basically funding. So when I got into the conscious community and debating, I basically, people knew me from doing funding. You know, if you had good credit, I could get you some loans and all that stuff. The credit stuff was just like a hobby. You know, it wasn't something that I took serious that I had to do. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much what it is. But anyway, family, um, there was a situation where I got, when I got into the business now, I'm on the radio station and we chilling and everything. So I decided to branch out on my own. So I helped them form their own credit department on the radio station. Mm -hmm. So I actually work with the radio station right now. Actually, I work with them every um, Monday to Friday. Well, anyway, um... The credit thing, that's how I got into it. And when I came to the community, I was always debating. But one of the things that I thought I would bring to the community is things that help people out. So um, whether it's credit, whether it's trade lines, whether it's whatever it is, you know, I was always thinking that this is just something that other than debating, because debating with the Hebrews is a hobby. Because I went to school, I studied history, so I know a lot of ancient Near East history and all these different things. So at the end of the day, um, that's how I'm known. As far as in the community, more people know me for debating than for economics. But when I went on Sarnetta, my purpose is, why is it that you don't um, give some to the community? So I went on Sarnetta, advertised credit repair, advertised a couple of things, advertised um, products with other people who, you know, provide the products. So we provided a lot of services for the community. For example, like we have a service where we actually hire people. We actually developed a training center, a, a calling center, literal calling center, that the squad has in South Carolina, where we train people how to start their own calling center, or if they want to work as a calling center right now, anybody that's listening in the country in 43 states could be hired. Okay. So you could be hired right now, If you, but the only bad news is if you live in New York, California, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maryland, Oregon, and Wisconsin, we can't hire you. Those seven states, we can't hire. And okay. it's sad because I'm from New York. But if you put from the other 43 states, we could hire you. We pay between $10 and $15 an hour just for you to sit around a computer and answer the phone. Got Pretty you. Much. Got you. All right? So that's something that I thought we need to bring back to the community because a lot of people like to say, join my organization. But they don't want, they don't want, um, what do you call it? They don't want to, um, what do you call it? They don't want to, to give back. So if you, if you have an organization, you say, join me because we're good, we're the best, God, God ordained us. They always want to collect money, but they don't want to give people a job or anything. You know, people will stand in the corner and shout, but they won't take the time to say, how are you paying your bills? How are you doing what you're doing? All right? So that's um, pretty much what the Dagger Squad does. We, we, we had different programs. We had the the student loan um, program, we have the, the, um, the credit repair program, we had the stock program, we got stock classes, we have the, um, what do you call it, the trade line program, we have the funding program, we have all types of different programs, but this is what, um, what do you call it, this is what um, Dagger Squad is about. It's what? all about helping people with the information and helping them with 
economics, helping them start businesses. That's all we're about. What is a trade line? A trade line, if anybody out there has a credit card, that's a trade line. Anything that's on your credit is a trade line. What we would do is we would help people who have low scores and um, let them boost their credit by adding, um, say, for example, a card from my, my account or a card from, from um, somebody else's because it's a network of us in the underground. Basically, if you have trade lines and you need to boost your scores, they have people that just basically just sell the card sell the information so that they will add you as an authorized user. Say, for example, you have a credit card for 10000 right now, mm -hmm. and somebody who is building their score has a score of, um, say, for example, um, they have they have a, the highest credit card they have is $300, and you have a ten, doggy diamonds of a $10,000 credit card. Mm -hmm. If you add, your ten, add them as an authorized user, your credit history of positive history gets added to their credit. So it boosts their score. You understand? Gotcha. It boosts their score. So probably sometimes 50 points, 150 points. It doesn't matter. It helps them to boost score. So people now, if you go on my timeline, you see all these testimonials of people um, saying Garfield sold them trade lines and it boosts their credit. They buy a house. This guy in Florida, Damon Carter, I'm going to give him as an example, bought two acres of property. So... You know, I mean, Dagger Squad is all about helping the people, man. That's what, that's all it is. All right, now, all another is. question is that that shit ain't illegal, right? Because I don't want nobody kicking in my door because you just talked about some illegal shit on my channel. That's not illegal, right? No, it's not illegal. Okay. It's not illegal. As a matter of fact, the FTC and the, the Federal Reserve said that the, um, you have to factor it into scores because you can't say whether it's from a friend or from a family member. So no, it's not illegal. Okay. Now let's, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Now that we know who, um, you are a little bit of your background. When did you f first started hearing your name being put with scamming or somebody who's d dishonest? When did you first hear that? What was the first accusation that you heard? The first time I ever heard that was on um, Lex Vortex channel. Okay. Um, a matter of fact, no, no, I'm lying. Q Butter did a post and said that, um, no, 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 I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying. Me, I went on Lex Vortex channel, me and Q Butter had this, had exchange of words. According to him, he said that I was, I scammed a lady out of $1,500, depending on whose story you want, or $2,000. Mm -hmm. So... This was for allegedly trade lines. So I said to him, prove to me that I scammed this lady and who this lady is. So he said the lady's name live on the air. But what happened is Lex Vortex deleted the entire thing because at the end of the broadcast, Cuba had to come back and say, no, I don't think Garfield is a scammer because based on the conversation. But everybody has this little small little five minute clip where me and him was going back and forth and I'm trying to explain myself, but when you go in enemies in enemies bullpen, this is what happens to you. So when Q Butter, what happened is he alleges that there was a lady that came to him and said that somebody just scammed me out of fifteen hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. So I said to myself, okay, that's very interesting. What's the person's name? So on the live broadcast, I put the person's name in my email for my business, and what popped up? The person's name popped up but it popped up from seven years ago from a Facebook post. I guess she writes books or whatever. So he's like, yes, yeah, from seven years ago, you know, trying to, trying to be. But I said, I thought you said this happened a couple of weeks ago or a couple of months ago. So anyway, we, we're there talking about this, and it's very interesting because he obviously got misled by the information mm -hmm. because this same person, I'm not even going to dignify by calling her name, made an allegation. Um... The allegation was basically that I took money from her. So we said, okay. A sister from the Dagger Squad said, when he made the post on Facebook now, claiming that he's trying to call me out, what he's trying to do is loop me in with Polite. Because Polite has a reputation of going at the Hebrews. Garfield has a reputation of going at the Hebrews. So now, boom, let's just get this guy and loop him in so that all the attention can come to me. Because I want people to know more about me and forget about this guy Garfield. Mm -hmm. All right. This is the motive of all of this, by the way. But anyway, I'm on son of this channel, people calling me and everything. And um, so the dude made the post, 
So when he made the polls and the lady tagged it, the lady said, yeah, Garfield took money from me. Now she didn't say it was $1,500 no more. Now it was 2000 So the sister said to her, okay, if Garfield stole 2000 from you, show me the proof right now and I will send the money to you right away. She says, um, wait, she never, ever responded. It's been over a year and a half. So now she decides, so what happened is now when I saw her name, I thought Cuba to send this lady to lie on me, point blank. Mm. Um, so what I did was I reached out to her because I'm like, I've never done business with this woman. I don't know her. So why is she saying this? So now I reached out to her, and I don't know if she was on Facebook or not, but she never responded to my message on Facebook until like around seven months later. Okay. So when she responded, she said, yes, I know you, da -da -da -da. Call, my, call my phone. So when I call her phone now, this is where it gets real interesting now. I call her phone. She says, I took money from her. I said, where, where, when did I take money from her? Come to find out, she never did business with me, but maybe her, either her husband or her husband's brother. But she's telling me that the trade lines were supposed to stay on the credit for six months. Mm -hmm. I've never sold anybody trade lines and say it's going to stay on for six, six months. So that seems like it's the underlining issue it might be a different form of trade line that she's talking about, but I didn't sell him a primary line. I sold him a authorized user that stays on the credit for a month. Mm -hmm. Now check this out. And I know people are listening, but check this out. Do you know she went on Lex Vortex and said none of the trade lines posted? Mm. Not one. Do you know this client who ordered this actually sent me a, a, um, a, a credit report with the trade line on there? So I actually have proof, which I've actually shown on my channel. So I'm saying, how did I rob you if whatever? So anyway, it became now uh, more of like a, I want to slander you. And if you don't pay back this money, I'm going to keep on slandering you. So I stood firm. I stood firm. I stood firm on my square. I said, I'm not, then all these people now, I don't know if it's cute, but I make all these fake profiles, come in my chat, or you're going to give the lady back her money. Because guess what? The lady went on the ear and said, I'm going to donate this money to Q Butter. Mm. So all of a sudden now, he has a self-interest in this so-called $1,500. But Doggy Diamonds, if I provided a service, if I provided a service, why am I paying you your money back? So I said to Lex Vortex, I played the dozens now. I said, if she provides proof that I did a service with her, one, two, that trade lines that the dude ordered never posted, provide the evidence, I will give you back the money right now. Lex Vortex never call me back. Hmm. Never call me back. This is when he pulled the video. You see, it was like an extortion, bro. Hmm. I'm going to bad name you, and I want you to pay me $1,500, or else I'm going to keep bad naming you. And by the way, let me, let me apologize to... um. The sister Safa, by the way, because I did something wrong the other day that was very out of order. To prove a point, because you saw me making the video about Q Butter, to prove a point, because he's saying, going around saying he fixed Safa's credit, right? Mm -hmm. I actually showed the work that I did for her, and I put her information on my channel. I actually deleted the video. It was on for like probably two, three hours, and I deleted it because I made an error. That was a bad judgment on my part. So I just want to say publicly, I apologize to the sister for doing that. That was wrong on my part. I shouldn't have done that. But I pulled the video down immediately because I was just so mad. I said, how are you going to say you fix somebody's credit when everybody knows I put trade line on her credit and I cleaned up her whole entire credit and she bought a car, testified on Sonnetta, made a whole video about it, but you want to claim that such and such and you know, it was just some, some childish games going on, bro. That was just unbelievable. Yeah, and, and this is all going to come out tonight. Because what I'm going to do is this. Um, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is explain something to everybody. Any service, and by the way, if, 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 um, if what's his name on Paul 105.1, um, he advertises a lawyer every day, mm -hmm. right? Yep. If the lawyer, um, what's his name? 
on 105.1. The brother, um, Charlemagne. What's his name? Charlemagne. Mm -hmm. Miss Mike Markinoff or Merkinoff or whatever. If Mr. Merkinoff does a service for you and you're not satisfied and you said you want a refund, should Charlemagne be responsible because he puts you on and say, advertise your product because your product is good? So a lot of people have fallen victim to certain people that advertise, whether it's, it's, it's this person or that person. And because that person might come on Doggy Diamonds, although Doggy Diamonds won't screen everybody, you never know. The person could be the best person in the world, and then they come and advertise on Doggy Diamonds, and they are a slime ball. Mm -hmm. So you don't know who people are. They might appear to be good people, but they're not. So in, in, in some instances, I'm, I'm not even going to front. I mean, there's people who have come on the show, and I've made them come on the show just on the strength. And they provided services on the show, and they have they have fulfilled some cases, but in some cases they haven't fulfilled it. So now it falls back in Garfield because Garfield is the one that put the person on the channel. You understand what I'm saying? It's the person that made him advertise. So Garfield is not wrong for that if he feels the product is good for the community, but the person who did not provide the service is wrong. And I'm saying that to say to anybody out there. If anybody provides a service for you, make sure you have a full contract with them. Make sure that all the company's names are on the contract and that the contract is signed. Because if it comes down to it, you know, I, I, I mean, I see people make claims all the time. And guess what? There's no contract involved. If you don't have a contract signed by the party and you say, oh, I have a contract and it's not signed, it's not legit. And people need to understand that. It's just that you are going to provide a product and a service to the community. Make sure you also are responsible to make sure that contracts are signed and things are done properly. I just wanted to make that point. So um, another question that I have for you is that it's said that you're not supposed to charge for fixing people's credit. Can you clarify for that? Because I've, um, I've, when I had, um, yeah, yeah. Q butter. No, no, no. Q butter says, Q butter says you're not supposed to charge up front. Mm -hmm. And um, my thing is, um, Doggy Diamond, how many people out there right now um, smoke marijuana illegally? Wow. How many people right now that's listening smoke marijuana illegally? I don't want to talk about Should nothing Garfield, illegal. <laughs> all right, okay. <laughs> let's, let's use Should something else. Garfield, write your name down and say, hey, Mr. Policeman, this guy right here is smoking weed at nighttime at 9.45 p.m. When since did black people start saying, hey, I care? Listen, the bottom line is, is the service being provided? You don't care if you buy marijuana, if it's legal or illegal. You want to get high. You want to get smoothed out. You don't care. You just want your credit to be fixed. You don't care if you start before or not. But technically, though, when I, when I spoke to my lawyer about it, he said, Garfield, based on what you do, you know, you always do a, um, a consultation and you always send people letters to have them remove their old addresses. So he said that's actually you're performing a service. So technically, um, you're not doing anything illegal. But I'll say this, though. There are, there are my brothers and sisters in the Hebrew Israelite community, the Moorish community, the RBG community, the Kemeni community who perform um, credit repair and they charge four ninety nine dollars up front. So if anybody's going to condemn Garfield, if he does, make sure you make a whole memo and say, I'm snitching on everybody in the community for charging up front for credit repair. Is, is that something that somebody should really have a conversation about, though? Are you, are you guys listening to this? Garfield went out saw Netta, brother. I went out saw Netta for six months and never charged a dime up front. And black folks, over 600 people, called me up and responded in the first four weeks when I was on saw Netta. Ask Devin Morgan. He used to run my, my credit department. And brothers and sisters, guess what? Not one of those 600 people paid Garfield a dime when their credit was fixed. Hmm. So, of course, it forced my hand. And when it forced my hand, I made a rule and I made it publicly. I'm charging at least $100 up front for anybody that, 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 that wants my service and $25, $25 um, per item deleted. Now, I do do the paperwork and, and, and all that stuff in advance and actually do a performance or something to not make it illegal. But the point of the matter is, though, what about them 600 people that ran off or ain't paid? Hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you, you, you worried about if Garfield charge $100, bro? 
Is that hate or what? So what was so, what? Well, I think the the criticism was, um, and I see people in the chat. I'm not gonna address y'all, but um, I'm not being quiet. I'm letting the man speak because at the end of the day, a lot of serious allegations was against him, and and and, and a lot of times y'all like to say people cut the guests off, and then some of y'all like to say you don't let the guests speak enough. I'm letting the man talk because he's the one that got the um. The, the, the bullseye on him, not me. So I'm gonna let him talk. But um um uh, a lot of people were saying that um you shouldn't charge money and if you're so for black empowerment, why are you charging money if you should be helping black people? You heard that, right? Hey, my brother, not one of them have ever gone to Lexington Law mm -hmm. to ovation. They've never gone to them and say that. Why is it a black man is doing a business? Why don't they, why is it on Garfield though? Why is it not on the Hebrew Israelites who do credit repair? Why is it not on the Moors? Mm -hmm. Why is it not on anybody else? And, and let me show you how much of a punk that dude is. When we had the conversation on the phone, he said, oh, I'm not talking about you, man. I'm talking about the dudes that charge $1,500 and all of that. Come on, brother. If you had a problem with me from the jump, you ain't got to go public. If you want money or donations, listen, listen to the guy on, on, on ISUPK station the other day. He said, yo, when I went on saw Netta, man, yo, over 20, over 500 people call me, man. And imagine how much people calling that dude. Why are you watching that? Mm. If people see what you're doing for the community, you don't need to worry about Garfield. Garfield is not your problem. Your problem is with everybody. You got a problem with everybody. He's beefing with Talib Kweli. He's beefing with Ben X. He's beefing with NBK. He's beefing with Garfield. He's beefing with this one. He's beefing with that one. For what? Because they don't want to play his music video or they don't want to do something for him for free. You see that poverty mindset? This is why we can't reach nowhere in this country. This is why, family. Because we got a poverty mindset. We got to, we got to stay broke. Black people can't have money. We can't. So, um, but, we can't have money. So, so let me ask you something. Um, what, 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 um, what what exactly is the problem with you and Q Butter? Is it the accusation? Because you know, like I know, I let you know from the beginning. Um, that's my homie, and I considered you. You actually popped out for one of my events, so I'm always going to respect you for that. Because you didn't have to to do that. You came out to one of my events, and me and you built behind the scenes on on different things. What what is actually your problem with him? And what I want to know. That's just a two-part question. What is your problem with him? Is it just the accusations, what he said? And how can we dead the issue between you and him? So and that's two parts. Um, what is the, what the is record, the main issue and record, how could it? Go ahead. Just for the record, I have never had a problem with Q Butter in my lifetime. Never. Never have a problem with any black man. The Nation of Islam trained me when I was in orientation. You should never go at your brother at any cost for no reason. You attack those, who, you defend yourself when you're attacked. That's what I was taught under, under Louis Farrakhan when I was in orientation. Mm -hmm. That's what I was taught in the Nation of Islam. Never attack your brother, never injure your brother, never do anything to your brother. So at the end of the day, if, you're, if, you're, if you feel a certain way, you want to loot Garfield in because guess what? You wanted my spot on Sonata's channel. That's what it's all about. So now, listen, family, I had business on Sarnetta. I had Sister Monica on there. I had um, Cheryl on there teaching the people how to get government contracts so they could make money. We developed our own calling center to hire black people. How many people have Cuba to hired in the last year? How many people have any of these damn organizations who came there pro-black hired? We took the time to develop our own calling center, brother. Mm -hmm. We work for the people. So at the end of the day, if I charge a hundred dollars up front and twenty five dollars, go so so you rather them go to the white man and pay one hundred and eighty dollars a month for two years and spend all three thousand dollars, but don't go to Garfield because he's charging a hundred dollars. Yo, we I never in my life ever made a video about Q Butter until the other day. That's the first time, and he's been going at me for over a year and a half. And Son never told me he said Garfield, stand down, don't respond to that dude. But you know what? I'm not obligated to Sarnetta no more because I'm not on his channel. Mm -hmm. And no disrespect to him, 
because I respect his leadership. I respect his, his, not leadership, I respect his, um, yeah, leadership, but I also respect his, his maturity and I respect his, um, his veteran, veteran presence in the community. Who, Sarnetta? Because truth being, yeah, yes, Sarnetta, I Whoa, 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 whoa. Sarnetta act the ass on his channel all the time, so you can't say that. He ain't nobody to no, tell no, no, somebody no, no, to no, calm no. down. I'm saying, I'm saying I accept his veteran presence or his veteran for him being a veteran in the community, meaning that he knows a lot of bullshit that goes on and how to squash shit and deal with bullshit. He That's do? what I'm saying. If he, he do? If he, if he <laughs> I mean, we're going we gonna, we gonna, we gonna to keep it real. We're going to have to keep it real. That ain't the person to tell anybody to calm down and chill because he don't know how to calm down and chill. And that shit is just the realest shit. So let's just move on past that. Yeah. Um. Let me, let me say this. Let me say this, though. But Sarnetta, in this situation, mm -hmm. advised me. And I, and, I, and I respect the advising. Um, let me say this to everybody that's listening. Q Butter, what he's trying to develop with the kids, I respect it. Mm -hmm. And I have never come out and said, screw him or screw his school or screw that. And it's whack. And I think it's fake. I think he's taking the money and pay his bills. I never came out and made no video. People sending me inboxes. Yo, say this, say that. Yo, I know this about him. I know that. I never once, you know what I'm saying? I never once, me and him had a conversation and I violated him in the conversation. I ain't gonna lie. I said something about his father should have pulled out and he should have never been born or something to that effect. Something I said, but that's over a year and a half ago. And you know what I did doggy? I came back and said, as a man, we beefing right now, but I apologize for what I said. I apologize. On the spot. On Let the phone. Be. On he the said, phone. You know what? On the phone, on the, on the Google Hangout, on the YouTube, live. I apologize. I apologize to the brother. But he want to tell everybody, oh, God, if he said this, man. And da -da -da -da. Like, you know, we in, we in kindergarten now. You know, you stole my candy. I want my candy back. We not kids, bro. We grown men. And now, if you're, if you, and the whole thing is this in a family, Garfield has helped a lot of people in the community. I remember before I even went to Sarnetta, I had a program raising $80,000. It was on my timeline. This guy was doing a no doc loan for $80,000. And you know how I feel about Dr. York, brother. You've heard me blast Dr. York for years. Do you know the New Orleans, about 86 of them, pulled up together, got these loans, and opened their own stores. Opened their own stores. And I said to them, you know, they said, Garfield, I know you don't like us, but, yo, what you're doing is cool, man. Thanks for getting this money. It ain't, it ain't personal. This is why I push economic empowerment, because it's the only thing that can't divide us. Everybody else's religion divides us. You believe this, it's going to divide us. But Cuba didn't realize, though, that he was being used by Tazari at that night. When he went on the channel, by the way, I need to say that. Tazarek to me, I don't mess with Tazarek at all. Tazarek don't like me. So when he heard the story, like, yo, I want this guy to come on and do that. Look at look at Zyalex. Yeah, Zyalex is cool. But because I beat him up so bad, he decided to turn to the, the, the scandalous route and put the video, the little cut up video with Q Butter on his channel to try to come back at me. I don't, to be honest with you, bro, I don't care what anybody says. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. And if I'm doing right, I could go to my bed and sleep at nighttime. I could go to my bed and sleep. I have nothing, I have nothing in my conscience to say, yo, da, 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 I've done you wrong. I've done black people wrong. I have not done anybody wrong. And you know the, the funniest thing? I said to, I said to Lex Vaudet on the phone, so if the sister live in Long Island and I live in New York in Westchester, why don't we just go to small Cape court and settle it? If I'm wrong, Prove me wrong in front of a judge and we hand it like men and women. Don't scandalize me to try to try to try to um get money out of me by 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 defaming my character, my name. I mean what what is how are you benefiting from that? You want to give Garfield a bad name for what? So all right. These people, these people in this community is sick, man. So so let me ask you something. Has it been a case where you might have not done what somebody expected you to do or something just didn't go well with somebody? Has that been a case at all? Um, I've never willingly taken money from someone to do something and never delivered. Okay. Never in, never in my life. 
Now, with that being said, let me put a butt beside it. There are situations, I'm going to give an example. You know, after butt is, bull, you know, after butt is bullshit, right? So be careful with that butt. You know. No, 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 no. <laughs> Listen to what I'm saying. Okay. This guy ordered two trade lines from me. The trade lines weren't mine directly, meaning it's my personal. It's somebody else's. I got it from a vendor. And when the trade lines were posted, both of them were closed. Mm -hmm. The guy blasted me. Goffy, you a scammer. How are you trying to sell me lines that are closed? I said, brother, I got it from a vendor. But what I'll do is I'll keep it. I'll make sure that they reopen it. So when I called the vendor, they said, Garfield, the guy didn't use his card for two years, so the, so the credit card company closed it. So he reopened it, and he kept it on his credit for two months. I had to rectify it, whether I wanted to or not, because that's how you, I mean, I remember we, I used to have an email, I used to have a text blast. And the text blast is, um, what do you call it? You have a, you have a text blast. Mm -hmm. And during the text blast, I said, um, I used to send out to all these people, like 2,000 people. You know, whoever calls Sonata, call me from Sonata, I would do, I have a text blast. And how I found out, the dude responded and said, yo, you scammed me out of two trade lines. And I said, I said to him, I said, actually, I didn't set up the blast. The person who worked for me did. And when the person got the response, I didn't even know about the situation because you think it's all good and done with. But at the end of the day, was I, was I wrong? Was that my fault? It wasn't my fault. So, so um, my next question is, if it's somebody that can present something to you feasible right now, would you be willing to refund them their money if they feel like you did them wrong? Of course. How can they do that with you? All they got to do is contact me at daggersquad1 at gmail.com. And that's all it is. Simple okay. as that. Okay, so for anybody who's going to watch this video on the playback or who's in the chat room right now that feel like Garfield has did you wrong, how would they provide proof, though? Because I don't want people just coming out and hitting you up and just saying, you, you know, you owe me money from, you know, the third grade and this, that, and the third. How can they uh, uh, rectify? Because I, I um, unintentionally went through this with the polite situation where I became the third party that joined parties together and it just didn't work out. Dude didn't um ever get his money back. So I don't wanna jump I don't wanna do that again. But I do want people to be able to, if they could contact you some way, what what do you what do you what do they need to provide you with? All they need to do is there's a service. Just provide just provide um just send just send an email with whatever evidence they have and we just work it out from there. Um All right, because Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, because you, you know, re you're reading the chat funny. too, I mean, ain't you? Right, you reading the chat? Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm here. I'm here laughing. I'm here laughing my ass off reading the chat. Okay. <laughs> I'm here laughing my, myself off. But listen, listen, family. Listen. At the end of the day, family, if you're gonna support Garfield, you're gonna support Garfield. I've never scammed anyone in this community. Never. And I could say that on my children's lives. I've never scammed anybody in this community. And what happened is, you know, Unc always say a well-organized lie will, dis will defeat a disorganized truth anytime. Mm -hmm. So if you don't like Garfield, you will gravitate to whatever energy and lies you hear. You have people that sell products and they don't deliver the products. And it's not that they don't do it on purpose. Something might have happened. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, you can't, you can't pull somebody's coat when you know the situation and you want to say, you know what? I don't like Garfield anyway. He's a scammer. It don't work like that. You know, you got to have evidence. And this is, this is what happened. I remember the sister that Cuba brought on. She went on um, Solomon's channel the other day, right? Because I told him she ain't got no proof. Bring the evidence and I'll definitely refund the sister. When she went on the channel, Solomon pulled the show down. Because Solomon don't like Garfield at all. Solomon would probably consider me an enemy of his. All right? Because of conversations we have had. Mm -hmm. All right? So mm -hmm. now Solomon pulled the video down because when they interviewed the same sister that Q Butter brought and they asked for evidence and they asked for this and they asked for that, they realized she was going in circles and circles and circles. And his girl said to him, this girl is lying her ass off. 
Garfield never scammed her. I never scammed the dude who she with. I never scammed um I never scammed anybody in this community. But anyway, I say this. I say this to the family. I say this right now. I'll do this, Doggy Diamonds. Mm -hmm. If anyone out there feel they have been cheated by Garfield Services, email me at daggersquad1 at gmail.com, and I will read the emails. I would read the email live on my channel or even bring you on live so that we could figure this out as men do or as businessmen do. Garfield is not scamming what? What is there to scam? What so, is there to scam? So um, I've never heard Q butter. Hold on. I'm going to ask. I see my brother Maccabees TV is in the audience, right? Maccabees TV has the Maccabee Alliance. Is that right? Dan Daniela? They have, they have, yeah, Daniela. Yeah, that's they the bro. They have someone that does credit. I bet you if you call Daniela right now and say, does that person charge up front? He'll tell you yes. Will Q butter make a video and call them a scammer? No, he won't. Because it's not about pointing out people scamming or charging for credit repair up front. He's just after Garfield. He ain't after nobody else. He, get, he, get, he, he has a kick for Garfield. That's what it is. It, it's personal. It ain't got nothing to do with Garfield scamming. Because on the same video he accused me, at the end of the video he said, I don't believe Garfield is scamming. I don't believe that. That's what he said out of his mouth. So, so the scam, so the scamming later, thing, so the scamming. Thing. So let me ask you something: Is the scamming thing, is it more of you're being dishonest in your service, or you shouldn't be charging people for the service? Because when I spoke to Q Butter, he didn't. If, even if you watch our interview that we did, he didn't say that he uh, felt that you was a scammer. He said he felt that you shouldn't be charging people. So I'm kind of confused. Okay. What, what do you think it is? Do people feel like you're a scammer or do people feel like you uh, shouldn't be charging people? And I think the sister, she's a very good friend of mine. Um, We actually have the same exact birthday. If you're talking about, um, I'm just going to say her first name, Aaliyah. Are you talking about, is that the same person you're talking about? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. So I, I definitely know who that is. That's, that's we, we, we share the exact same birthday. You know what I'm saying? We was born on the same day, same year and everything. And um, she actually sent me something behind the scenes. But I didn't really, I don't really know what all information, you know. So I can't say whether you did something to somebody or didn't. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not, I'm very, um, I don't know. I, I don't know all the facts in, in, in all of this, you know. So um, at the end of it all... Uh, I, I want people to email you. I don't want people emailing me shit. If you ain't, only thing I want y'all to email me is, uh, PayPal for a donation or cash app. If you ain't sending me that, don't send me shit. Your issue is with Garfield. He gave you, um, you know what? This is what we could do, Garfield. This is what we could do. Um, damn, I don't want to do, no, I'm not doing it. I was going to say they could CC me in the email. But I'm not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do that because I'm not going <laughs> to I'm not gonna put my email out there. Motherfuckers start sending me their mixtape and shit like that. We not doing that. But, um, you know, um, in, in defense of, of the people in yourself, um, in business, sometimes we might do business and people are not happy with our services or whatever. And some people do feel obligated to a refund or all of that. You know, which is, you know, shit. Sometimes you might get a sandwich and don't like it. You still pay for it and you got to eat that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's that's your fucking problem. Just don't buy the sandwich no more. But I think to call somebody a scammer is very, very harsh. And I'm going to need to see some receipts. And Garfield, you, you made a promise to the people live on my channel. There's 285 people presently in here. That when you get emails, Q I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how much of a lie this dude is. Q butter just said in the chat, "I got a receipt. I could email it to you." So Q butter, email me right now, and I will read it live on the air. Dagger Squad, the number one at gmail.com. Was that Q Dagger butter Squad, or, or the Q... number one? No, that's not Q butter. That's Q, Q butter. doggy Q butter. dog. Right there, Q butter. No, that's Q, Q, Q doggy Q dog. Right here. No, Q doggy dog. Oh eight is saying that. That's who's saying. No, Q butter. Q butter said he got receipt. Okay. Right okay. All right. So um, let let them email him right now. We're gonna read it live on the air. We 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 got a little bit I'm of time. Read it live on the air right now. Yeah. So send, um, a, send a contract that Garfield signed and show me where I signed a contract for a service that you claim that I did. Let's let's get it right now. I'm ready right now. The email is right here on this phone. 
So I can yeah. check my emails right now. Somebody said that, that you tricked me into shit. You ain't tricked me into a motherfucking thing. I'm just doing my job of letting people speak their peace. And that's it. But you know what, though? Um, you, one thing that I will say about our um, you know, people, and I'm talking about black people, and I know some of y'all don't think we black. Some of y'all don't think we African. Some of y'all don't think a lot of shit. But I'm just going to say our people and whatever you want to fall under. And if you think you my people, that's what it is. A lot of y'all got mental health issues and a lot of y'all be dick riding depending on how you feel or don't feel about the person. This is what we're going to do right now. If Garfield is a scammer, right? If he's a scammer, send him the email right now. And I want him to read the email right now. And matter of fact, this is what I'm going to do. CC me in the email. My email address is info at doggydiamondstv.com. CC me in the email and I'll read the email right now over the air. So this is how we kill that right now. So if Garfield scammed you and you feel like Garfield didn't do right by you, I'll read the email right now and that's it. So Info at DoggyDiamondsTV.com. Um, only thing I'm asking y'all to do is um, make sure you thumbs up the video. You know what I'm saying? Make sure we get them, them thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, so right now, this is what we, we, we waiting for right now. When waiting for the inf email, when you email Garfield, you're, what did you say? Dagger Squad 1, right? Yeah, Dagger Squad the number one at gmail.com. And and you Dagger can squad, and CC. And by the way, and by the way, and by the way, if I'm a scammer, Doggy Diamond says CC him. Yeah, CC so me in the email, email right now. now. Exactly. CC him and let's read this out so the people could see and hear for themselves. This is the point. This girl is in your chat. I know who she is. She's like, oh, you're, you, you shouldn't have trade lines. Build it right. Oh, you a scammer. Oh, you shouldn't talk about the most high. You see? It's because of the religious beating up. It ain't got nothing to do with no evidence. So they just latch on. They have a law said, don't be a false witness. But guess what? It's Garfield, so I need to be a false witness. This is all it is. With Q Butter, I don't have nothing against his brother, man. I don't have nothing against Q. Q Butter cannot tell you Garfield has ever done anything to bad talk him, to say anything negative about him, even though he tries to bad talk me in every way possible because he wanted to be a star in his channel and I was on there. Even though he did that grimy shit. Yeah. I still ain't say nothing about the brother till the other day I did the show. Yo, but if you told him that... Nothing at all. But you know, if you told him you need to, you know, his father should have sucked him and all that, you know those is fighting words though, right? Like you do gotta, sometimes you do gotta fight behind stuff like that. So you can't be just saying shit like that, Garfield. You know that. You from, we well, from the Bronx, yeah, right? Yeah, but, yeah, but at the end of the day, if we're going to fight, let's fight. We nah, don't need to but... Talk. If you're gonna fight somebody, you don't say you're gonna, I'm gonna fight you when I see you. you who does that? It's in that kindergarten. If you're going to fight somebody when you see them, you do it when you see them. You don't talk about it. Be about it. That's I, all it is. I agree, but I don't want y'all to... I, I know both of y'all. And and when you really think about what we what y'all fighting over, y'all fighting over differences of methods. But I both think that, you know, and I don't think, I both know that both of y'all have... Uh, Y'all want to do what y'all need to do for y'all people, but I don't think um I don't think fighting is gonna resolve anything. I I, you know what I'm saying? That shit just ain't no you know I know both of y'all. So if I could, I I I reach out to Q but I reach out to Q but is actually in the chat. So I think y'all need to dead that shit. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, but if y'all want to shoot the five, that's on y'all. You know what I'm saying? I just don't want nothing to do with that shit. You know what I'm saying? But I I think it it, it is other ways because if y'all both. You know what I'm saying? Well, doggy, what if, I, what if doggy, Malcolm X, but listen, you, what if doggy, Malcolm X, doggy, didn't ahead. I say to you, didn't I say to you, I don't have a problem with you, brother? Yeah, but you this, can't. How many times have I said that? You on said this show? that, but you can't tell somebody to suck their mother or their father should have sucked them and then say you don't got no problem because once you say those words, it's automatically a problem. So you, you, you understand we say certain things in anger. 
But when you say shit, you already know ain't no talking after that. And Q Butter from Brooklyn, so I could take up and know what how Brooklyn do. Certain words is just like, oh, but I understand what you're saying. If you're going to talk about it, be about it. But what I'm saying, at the end of it all, look where we at, right? If we saw some grown man shit and everybody is here to help the people, how the fuck do we, what are we fighting? What if Malcolm X said to Martin Luther King, yo, I'll fuck you up. You know what I'm saying? Like, how would we look at Malcolm X? That's ignorant. And that's and that's the that's one of the reasons why I stepped away from a lot of conscious shit. Because I feel like, yo, dudes is acting like rappers. I might as well just fuck with the rappers. Where's the information at? You provide a lot of information, Garfield. Q Butter provides a lot of information. When you stick to the information, that shit can't be contested it's unity in the information and a lot of times it's, it is disagreements but we can't be talking about yo i'll fuck you up you know what i'm saying all right let's let's take, let's take a look at this cuba um cuba and doggy nine bucks let's take a look at this right garfield charges a hundred dollars up front right mm -hmm. but yet still the dude is promoting a dude that charges twenty five hundred dollars up front this is the hypocrisy with this dude He's like, yo, Brooklyn, tell Garfield, said Brooklyn, said, what's up? My man right here, he do, he fixed the credit. He charged $2,500. So if your man charged $2,500 and Garfield charged $100, why are you beefing with Garfield? This is the hypocrisy. And to see the people can support you, but all they want. I know a hater when I see one. Nigga, you'll never be me. You can't be Garfield. If, if what you're doing is so good, why do you need to bash Garfield? Why are you watching Garfield's pockets? But yet still, you on a video saying $2,500, you could do your credit. $2,500? Are you serious? And you worried about Garfield charging $100? This nigga is crazy. He's um, crazy. Uh, uh, you, you can't defend that. I'm, I'm just... You can't defend that. You can't go on a video and say, yo, if you want credit repair, man, this is what you need to drive. He don't even know what I drive. Oh, this is what you need to drive if you do credit. He's so, trying to throw his words at Garfield. Garfield, it's just, it's jealousy, bro. So this is jealousy. Okay, so all right now, we understand that you got your points out. Q Butter made plenty of videos. What is the resolve? How could we resolve any of this? Because at the end of it all, you know, making four hundred videos and you feel how you feel. You said everywhere you feel. I'm pretty sure Q Butter he has said things. On, on my channel, um, what's the resolve? Well, um, at this point, I am um, I don't have I don't have anything to do or any connection to Q Butter, and um, as I said, if he's so antsy to go on go on um, Sonita to get more contribution, go to Sonita and go on Sonita's channel. I'm not under there every Wednesday anymore. I got my own channel built up. I do my own shows now. So at the end of the day, why don't you go to Sonnet and go on his channel now? Ask him why he won't go. This is the funny part. Okay, so Garfield. <laughs> so Garfield, let's let's move on to that from that. The email has come through. Do you want to read it? Allow and um I'll just go over it with you. Matter of fact, okay, this is what we'll do. I'm going to put it on the screen. I'm gonna put the email on the screen for the people. So do do what do whatever you want. This is what I'm gonna hold on. Which email? Hold on. Let me see. Yes, me from from D. We'll just say his uh. D Ang yeah, we'll just say D, D Ang Ang. We'll just say that. But we have the same email. Yes, and I'm in it. I'm Q Doggy Dog 08. Do you um? And I'm just gonna put the email on the screen and let everybody see it at the same time. Let me ask the guy in the chat. Is that okay with you? For that, I put your email on the screen. This is all real fucking like impromptu and shit and, and spur of the moment shit. Garfield, are you um do you mind me putting the email on the screen? Um no. Okay, because no. I didn't uh -uh. Okay. Oh, so he says not his real name. So I have to figure out a way to block that out. Let me see how I can do that. Um then don't post his email. Okay. So let me figure out how to do that really quick. Uh it might be a way. Okay. 
All right, it's a way for me to scroll up so they don't see his 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 real name. Okay, so I got that. So I didn't say your real name live, I don't believe. Uh, and I'm going to make sure, I'm going to look over it really quick to see that um that his name is not in there anywhere. And your number is in there. So I have to find a way. Hold on, let me find a way to block this out if possible. Let me download this. Y'all people bear with me really, really quick. Let me block this out. Um, let me see how I can do this. Um, cause I, I want to read it directly from the, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going <laughs> to, this is hilarious. Go ahead, read it. <laughs> okay. So this is what I'm going to do. All right. I know how to, to bring this on live and, um, I'm going to bring the screen on live. Hold on. Y'all ready? Okay. Here we go. All right. So you can see his email. Um, this is the email right here. So y'all can read this really quick. Garfield, do you want to read it aloud while they're looking at it? Or maybe, maybe I'll read it aloud. Uh, I don't feel like doing all this goddamn reading and shit. I got books to read later on. Hold on. Which email is this? Is this, this is the one the, that says, Dear Brother Garfield? Dear Brother Garfield, I hope this email finds you well. On 6-1-2017, I signed the contract. Please contract see attachment. With, 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 all right, let me read it. Okay. I hope this email finds you well. 6 one two, 2000 I signed the contract with Solutionomics slash Dagger Squad for the student loan elimination program to eliminate student debt. I found out later in December that this program didn't work for me and other participants of the program. In your contract under description of service, it clearly states our program is fully refundable upon um, refundable upon incomplete service of non-removal of the student loan debt after 120 days. After the payment has been secured and collected, as stated before, this didn't work for me and others. I was told back in December from Brother Travis, okay, that he was working on getting my refund. I, I, let me read that again. I stated before this didn't work for me and others. I was told back in December from Brother Travis that he was working on getting my refund. As stated, I have hearing this December and it's now March 5th. Sometimes I've had to send him the same text. This is sending to Travis, not Garfield. Send the same text message more than once for him to even send me a reply. Oftentimes I won't get a reply until days later. Every time I talk to him about my refund, referring to Travis, there's something new story about him working on it or something else. I have the text messages to prove that I'm not lying. I don't like to feel like I'm getting scammed or getting the runaround. The last time I talked to you about this, you told me I uh, have a contact with him, your videos that you posted. So Aneta said that this program was on the Dagger Squad as a collective unit. I'm begging, I'm big on customer service. And for what I've gathered for the past couple of months, the customer service that I received, um, from y'all been terrible. It's your dagger squad and, who, and whomever to update the customers and what's going on, especially when someone has dropped um, 1500. I honestly feel scammed. I won't go on YouTube and call people out a lot. Da, 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 da. This is why us black people get such a bad name when it comes to doing business with one another. Please find out what's going on. Bear in mind, he's writing me to ask me what's going on with Travis and this program. Please find out what's going on with my refund. I've heard every excuse in the book since December. And like I said before, I have the text messages to prove that I'm not lying. I have attached my contract that was submitted to you on 6-1-2017. I also have the receipt that you sent me as well. In less than three months, it will be almost a year that I entered this program. I hope you respond to my email. In the past, when it comes to a complaint, you all don't respond. But when it's an email, you can't make money off a customer. You all respond back quickly. Please make sure you do the people right. Peace and love. If you want to talk, I have leave his number. Yeah, yeah leave, leave his all number right, out. Cool. Okay. Now, if you, listen to, if you listen to the email... He said, as I was told back in December by Brother Travis, that he was working on getting my refund because the student loan program is not my program. But check this out, though. Brother Travis has sent me money to send back to this brother. Okay. I have stalled him, this guy. Okay. This is why I'm like, why is he even in the chat? Travis sends me money, what he has, and he's repaying the guy. He said, this is all I have, G. I said, whatever you send me, I'm going to send to him. He sent me $50, I'm going to send to the guy. Simple as that. So you, so you, I, as you see, as you see in the email, he heard from Travis, he's going to get a full refund, right? Mm -hmm. And he's asking me to intervene, brother Travis, that he has working on getting my refund. This, I was told back in December from brother Travis that he was working on getting my refund. Now, the question is, did he get any money from Travis? Yes. Because Travis sent the money to me, and I sent it to him. He said, a $50 here, a $50 here, 
because I'm on Travis for him. So at the end of the day, how am I guilty or scamming? How is Garfield involved in this when this is not Garfield's program because he got contacted with Travis and has been dealing with Travis for over a year? You see, this is what the problem is. I'm fighting for you. I'm on the phone getting Travis to send me the money to send to you, whatever he has, and now you want to put me on blast. Look at this. So this has so you're saying that you have nothing to do with this? I have look at the contract. Okay. Look at the contract. It doesn't even have my company name. It does say it does say slide dagger squad, but anybody who signs up for this program deals with Travis directly. I'm not involved with the plan. I'm not involved at all. All right, but nothing you... to do with the student loan program. But now, because I advertise it, go back to my analogy with with um Charlemagne. I said, "Yo, I'm gonna make sure you get your money back." So you, so you are doing. So, so what you're saying is that you're doing referrals for this, but ex Ooh, okay, my man. okay. So and then and then um the dude. So so. And what you're saying and what you see, do do the do get no, no, beat? No, 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 no. But hold on a second. You guys see clearly in the text message. It clearly says, "I have spoken to Brother Travis, and that he was working on getting my refund." He clearly says it in the email. He clearly says it in the email. So he clearly says it. All right, so so if Travis if Travis sends me money, I send it to him. So did Travis send you I money? I sent it to him. Did Travis send you the money? So I can't. Yes, he did. And was it? I said, bro. I said, bro. You got it. He didn't send me all the money. He sent me like fifty dollars here, fifty dollars here to try to make. It. He's doing what he's doing. He's not running away. Okay. I'm like, you you asking? Come on. Hold on one second, Garfield. He's asking me to. Post the contract, but your name is in the contract, if I'm not mistaken. Right, so let's, 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 let's take a look at the contract. Okay. Let's um, take a look at the contract. Okay, yeah. So I can put the contract up there. I got the contract. All right, so let me do that. I'm going to put that on live on the screen. But you have but you have the guy's name there, so you can't even, you know, he, he might not even. No, his name look is at, look the, at, look, the contract that I'm looking at. No, this, by the way, this is not a contract. The client agreement. All right, so, yeah. But, his, look, at, but look, look through the whole thing. Look through the whole thing and you tell him that's a contract. Uh, it says it's it says, it's an agreement. You look, look, but look at it. Read it before you post it up. That's not a contract. Yes, I am involved, my brother. I'm not. Nobody's denying that. Okay. Now this is the issue that I'm seeing with this paperwork, Garfield. It mm -hmm. says Solutionomics Inc. No, no, no. Don't say. Don't say the guy's name. Don't say his company. You could say Dagger Squad. Oh well, shit. Well, it it says both, but we have to if if he's on blast. He, we gotta say, that company. No, we're not. We're not. We're not putting this company out there. But his. Uh, we don't have all right, so we don't have permit unless, unless. No, you could say whatever you want to say. It's your show. Yeah, I'm just saying that because I ain't saying his name. I'm just saying his company, and it's saying his company and your company. So my thing is, if it says Dagger Squad Inc. slash his company slash Dagger Squad Inc. How don't you? How are you not responsible for this? Explain that, because I'm I'm confused now. All right, now I don't have I don't have a contract with 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 the, with the client. I don't have a contract. I haven't signed any contract to, to do business with this gentleman. There's no contract. But what I am doing is what I'm doing. What I'm saying to you is, and, and by the way, when these contracts get, oh boy, this is a whole other story. But anyway, the fact of the matter is. If the contract, hold on, I'm going to look at the email, the other email that he sent you, because that email that you're talking about, hold on, I'm not seeing that email. Hold on, let me download this. It's the attachment, yes. Okay, but I don't see a contract though. Well, I'm I'm looking at um, I'm looking at an you're agreement. Looking at a, you're looking at you're looking at what an agreement looks like, but I don't see any contract signed or anything. Well, it's, this is not the signed contract. This has his name oh, and okay, everything okay, in it. Yeah, okay, this is not okay, the signed okay. contract. And even in the okay. previous thing that I did read out loud on the screen, I already said the name of his company. So, um, you know, they already know about that. You read it out okay. loud, damn. You read the you read the solutionomics hey. out loud. Remember? Hey, listen, man. At the end of the day, he was dealing with Travis the whole time, and 
I don't provide the service. I'm just a referral guy. Okay, but now and, you... But, but, um, but, and hold on a second. But I still have a responsibility, although I'm not the one who it went to. You understand what I'm saying? It, 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 it's not my company, per se. But I still feel a little responsible to make sure. So when he reached out to me, I reached out to Travis. But do you, I did exactly what he asked but me. But do, do you understand where this guy might think you have something to do with it because your name is on the paperwork. Your company name is on the paperwork. So for hey, ex you know, so for example, what, listen, listen, listen you know Garfield. What, you know what the joke is? What's the joke? You know what the joke is? I have all the text messages he sent to Travis and what Travis sent back to him. I'm not even involved in this at all, bro. But I'm not involved in this at all. But it, what happened is Travis, let me, let me tell you something about Travis. Travis is saying he's going to pay the guy back, I'm taking him at his word. Okay. I'm taking him at his word. He sent me this money, I sent it to the dude. I sent it because I said, listen, man, you got to get this dude his money, man. So, so he sent it to me. So do you... he's not responding, he's not responding to the guy. Do you feel like... So if he's not... Do you feel mm -hmm. like he owe? Do you feel like Travis owes him the money? Hell yeah. Okay. Now, this is what I want you to understand. If something says... Joe Schmo TV slash Doggy Diamonds TV. You do know that we're both responsible for that, right? Joe Schmo and Doggy Diamonds. You do know that, right? Yeah, if we have a signed contract. But so so you should get a Travis for using your name then. If you didn't know he was using so, your name. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. Listen, this is already done and I feel some sort of responsibility. And if Travis is saying he's going to pay him back and he's sending his $50 here, $50 there. I'm I'm a roll with what Travis is doing. He's paying him back. All I'm saying, I can't do nothing about that. No, all I'm saying to you he is said that. He's, but he's paying him back. No, I understand that. Travis is paying. All I'm saying to you. No, listen. All I'm saying to you. Paying back. No, I, how is it a scammer? Be, how is the person a scammer? He sent me money to pay the dude back, and I have done that. Because every time he sent it to me. You know why? You know why I got feel? Because when somebody gave me fifteen hundred, I don't want fifty dollars. I want all my cash. I want my chips with dip. That's why. So what I'm saying to you is that <laughs> what I'm saying to you is that you could understand why people would be angry with you. Right or wrong? Can you understand it now? Now, now, now listen to me carefully. Go ahead. Listen to me carefully. I spoke to Travis. Travis sent me money. And whatever he sends to me, I pass it right on to the dude, and that's it. Travis is paying him back. So if Travis never sent any money at all, I would agree with the dude and say, you know what? Me and you just got to work something out right here. Period. But if Travis is paying him back, where's the, what is the argument? No, because he ain't paying him back. He piecing them off. Garfield, you know in the streets yeah, you can't piece yes, nobody yes, off. He is piecing. He is piecing him off. Yes, he is, but he's paying him back. Nah, that don't work he like that. Paying... This ain't so no. You're saying that if he if he if he takes fifteen weeks to pay him fifty dollars a week, that's wrong. But so when the last time he gave him bread? A hundred dollars. A hundred dollars out of fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. You know people get well, shot for shit like that, right? Hey, hey! At the end of the day, at the end of the day, if Travis sent me money the last time I gave this guy funds. Was today is what today is Sunday uh -huh. on Friday on Friday. Oh, you just gave him money Friday. Yeah. Okay. Travis sent it to me. I got a money order and I put it right in his account. I'm not. I'm listen. Listen, family. Travis is gonna pay him back. Travis is gonna pay him back. Period. Period. There's no doubt in my mind. Travis is not a bad guy. So if he says he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. All right. So can you for future references? For future mm. references, don't you think you should take your name off the paperwork? Actually, to be, you see, that was, that's what I was going to say, whatever. I didn't even know my, um, what you call it, because I'm not the one doing all of that stuff. But I'll say this to the brother, though. I'll say this to, um, to Mr. Anglin, is that, um, no, the reason why I'm in RAW, because the, the client reached out to me. When all else fails, they got to come back to the guy who they heard it from. So if they come to me, I'm the one that introduced them to Travis. So he has to come to me and say, yo, this dude, I don't know what's going on. It ain't work. 
I didn't even ask him to send me a report or nothing. I'm saying, you know what? I'm going to ask Chavez to send the money. Boom. Chavez sent $50. He sent another $50. And then he's going to do what he's going to do every week. He's doing what he got to do. So I said, you got to send the dude something. Yeah, but you're gonna go like that. But you, at the end of the day, though, hold uh, on. Mm-hmm. If Travis don't send nothing, I have to, re- I have to do it. I have to replace the funds. But you, but so you, that, but you know that that's foul for somebody to give fifteen hundred in one whop and motherfucker give him fifty dollars on some susu shit. You know that's fucked up, right? You know that's fucked up. <laughs> you know that's fucked at up. At the end of the day, at the end, of, at the end of the day, brother. If Travis, listen, bro. If he if he never responded to me and never sent no money, then I would have to do what I gotta do. But at the end of the day, he said, "Golf, you don't do nothing. I got this." All right, he said, "I'm gonna do a little something, something, then I'm gonna make a little lump payment." I'm going with what he's saying. Nah. But again, if he scammed him and ran off and didn't respond to my phone calls or say send him the money, then you can say, "Hey, he's scamming." Nah, but Garfield, we gotta keep it one thousand, man. That is, if listen, Garfield, where you from? You from the Bronx? Where you from Jamaica? But where you? Where was you raised at besides Jamaica? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you from? Funny. You from Brooklyn? Um, I'm in the Bronx. I'm in the Bronx. Bronx but you, Bronx, you lived in Bronx. Brooklyn, right? You lived um, in Brooklyn. No, Let's, I used to have my office in Brooklyn. All right, now look, if I give somebody fifteen hundred dollars. And they give me back fifty dollars. First of all, I'm gonna look at the fifty dollars. I might take that same fifty dollars and clunk them over their head. You know, Garfield, you can't, you can't piece people off when they give you all that bread, man. You know that. So, I think the right thing. This is this is where you got jammed up. I don't know if you understanding this. I think you do. You're very very intelligent. But this is where you got jammed up. Because yeah, because it says Dagger Squad Inc. If it didn't say that, you're no, out of Dagger, this. Dagger Squad. Where is Dagger Squad Inc. on the paper? I I just I just read it on the paper. I got it on the paper. I got it on the paper. I've hold seen on. two. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, okay, I don't see it, but hey, it is what it is, man. It is what yeah, it is what it is. But you want, you want me day, to show it to the people? Travis, I, could, I don't want to show it to I the people. It, I got it. Okay. I got it. I see 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 it. Yeah. So I that. So it. that's that's. I think where the problem is. You understand what I'm saying? And I think that's. You know where you just just rectify that the best way you could and don't. You know what I'm saying? You 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 could put it on Travis. Travis took the bread, but then Travis fucked you up. You understand what I'm saying? Travis is fucking up your name because if you're not a scammer and you didn't take money from people, which I'm not saying you are, but do you understand how the people would perceive that your name is on something where somebody didn't get a service and now you're saying, okay. he going to pay you back, yeah, because, but my name is know, on it too. At the, end, at, the, at the end of the day, Dagger Squad shouldn't even have been on the paper. That's period. what I'm saying but to you. that's a whole other situation for a whole other time because when you have, I see, I wasn't on top of it. But I'm not gonna blame anybody because I'm in charge anyway. But at the end of the day, my name, my my, uh, my name should not have been on this paper. Period. Period. Because I've never signed a contract for student loans. I've never signed one. I've never signed a contract. So so, um, you understand? So now you you get why people will be coming at you. Do you get it? Right, right. No, it's not a problem. I don't have a problem with that. But if you reach out to me, if you notice. In the email, he reached out to me because he knows I'm not involved with it. He said he's been contacting with Travis. Travis said he's going to give him a full refund. If Travis is the one that's contacting him and he refuses, then he brought me into the picture because I'm not involved with it. The only way I'm involved is because my name is on that piece of paper. Facts. And I've never signed a contract. My name, I've never signed a contract. Who sent them the paperwork? Because he's saying he has your text, and he and he said you sent them the paperwork. The Q dog guy, which is England, aka. Actually, actually, no, I didn't. But you know, what what can I say now at this point? You know, you know what, Q dog, we we rectify it and we'll deal with it properly, man. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, but so at the end of the day, go ahead. I'm not the one that. If he asks me to reach out to Travis. To see what's going on, and Travis said, "Yo, I'm gonna do this." I didn't think it as nothing. 
You say you're going to pay him $50 a week or whatever, you do it. I, listen, bro, if I'm not involved with it at all and you say you need to hear from him and I'm hearing from the person, I'm just doing what you are the person you asked me to do. And if the person give me $50, I'm giving you the $50. I'm yeah. not involved with this. At, what I mean, I'm not involved. I'm not involved at all. Period. But you are because your name is I've on the ne- paperwork. I've never, I, I know that, but I've never signed a contract for any of these things. So, so, so shouldn't you be mad at Travis? Yeah, I am. All right. So, so shouldn't you want to fuck Travis up instead of uh, fight um, Q Butter? <laughs> you want to fight Q you know, Butter? Fight you. No, I don't. don't the I was just joking. No, I don't want to fight Q Butter. I have no intention. You should want to fuck Travis fight. up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, that's a, that's a whole other situation. You should, you know, fifty dollars to homie, and, and, and homie put a fifteen hundred. But but Garfield, could I say this to you? And I don't know how you're gonna take this. The right thing to do to rectify yourself. You on my channel. I don't know about anybody else's channel, but everybody sees and hear this. The right thing for you to be to do, Garfield, mm-hmm. is you pay the homie back and let Travis pay you. I don't know if hey, you could financially listen, do listen, that. I'm just saying that would be the right, that would probably be listen, the hey, best thing to do. that's the right do. thing to do, I'm going to do the right thing, brother. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. If uh, that's uh, the right thing to do, that's the right thing to do. Okay. So, um, that's, that's really it. Um, you know, Garfield, I, I really believe, um, not even believe, I, I know, like I said, me and you, have had conversations off the record and on the record, whatever. And I don't really, you know, I, I don't get no bad vibes from you. I don't get that you know, you know, no foul dude. So I'm not going to put nothing on your name like that. But we, like I said, we do make mistakes and we can always rectify the mistakes. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the best thing to do sometimes, rectify the mistakes. In the streets, in the streets, if somebody give me money to do something, and I say somebody else took the money from me. I owe them the money because I'm the party involved. So what happened to you was your name being on the paperwork. Do you write in everything? Unfortunately, if you didn't know, you understand what I'm saying? That's what fucked you up. So yeah. Travis yeah. need a kick in the fucking ass. Wait, wait, wait. This is what we got for yeah. Travis right here. All right. Nah. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, we we need to we need to we need to find a way to um. So I I do want to say to people um, you know um I do not give anybody permission to use any of this audio. I do not give anybody any permission. Would you say Garfield? You there, Garfield? What's your phone fell in the toilet? Anyway, I do not give anybody <laughs> permission to use this audio. I do not give anybody permission to rebroadcast, to do anything with this audio and trying to go against Garfield and prove whatever. Just refer people back to this video. If you have a point you want to make, do not take my audio and do not put it on your channel. That's all I'm saying to y'all. Because I don't, I automatically have something on my channel that will flag your channel. I don't have to do it. I'm in a, um, you know, a con, um, a, a network. You know what I'm saying? So my my content is is um, copyrighted. So um, that's what it is. Garfield, where the hell you go, man? Yeah, no, the phone okay. dropped under the um the car seat. Oh, you? I didn't run off. Don't worry about you, it. You, you one of them dudes that love yeah, that car yeah, but shit. But I want to say to all the audience though. Go ahead. It's not. It's 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 it's, it's it shows, I mean, I don't, I don't, I haven't even looked at the brother's report to investigate. He called and said something he wants me to do. Mm-hmm. I did exactly as he, as he said. Exactly. Oh. He said, Garfield, reach out to Travis. I reached out to Travis. I said, Travis, what's going on? His client says, he's not hearing back from you. Boom, boom, boom. Yo, G, this is all I could do right now this week. This is all I could do this week. Hey. And you know, but see, Garfield, this is one thing too. You know that um, nobody's stealing my audio. People steal my audio. Shut the fuck up. To a matter of fact, when people talk shit to me and I'm the motherfucking host, you out of here. Fuck out my fuck off my channel. But anyway, um, <laughs> what I want to do, um, what I want to do, like I said, it's times that we 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 make mistakes. Uh, and again, I just want to 
it's a way to put you in good standing. You understand what I'm saying? It's a way to really, really rectify shit. And um, don't if Garfield don't handle this, I don't want nobody hitting me up tomorrow. Like Garfield ain't do this because I, like I said, I already stuck my neck out with the with the brother polite situation. I y'all see everything right here, Garfield. Anything you want to say in closing? <laughs> <laughs> anything you want to say in closing? I'm good, man. Hey, um, hey, Q, brother, I got um. Tyson, 2019, man. We could do a we could do a boxing match on that. All right? You still with this fight and shit? You don't want to fight Travis? <laughs> Yo, don't worry about Travis. Travis is is. Don't worry about that. Let me, about find, out, let me, right. let me Travis, find out. Let me let me find out you not Travis. Travis let me Travis. find out you Travis. You on some Kaiser Soze shit? You Travis? No, Travis, <laughs> no. They got Travis was on the show, brother. Oh, you know, all right. How about he, to say? He, he was on the show. So let me I'll find out Garfield on some Kaiser Soze shit. He really motherfucking Travis and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Benelli, man. This ain't um what you call it. This ain't um digital underground. Ain't no homeboy. Yeah, yeah. Person. You let me find out you humpty hump and, and shock G at the same time. <laughs> He's sitting there. He got a split uh, personality. Yeah. And Travis and shit. So um Garfield um, do, do, is there anything else you want to convey to the people? Because this is your whole um, this is you know you got the flow. um, yeah. Obviously, based on the, um the conversation and um, my I got. The um the email that the brother sent over, Daryl Angie. I'm actually shocked that he sent it over because, you know, this is somebody who we um I actually made a deposit in his account on Friday, so I was shocked to, for him to say that um he was scammed. I understand if a service don't work, it don't work, and you request a refund. Now, the refund he requested, the person said, "Hey, I'm under the refund." That's what he was told. That's what he sent me. I said, I said, did you contact Travis? He said, he's going to give you a refund. All right, fine. So he's dealing with Travis the whole time. He's not dealing with me because I'm not, I ain't got nothing to do with this. But at the end of the day, if you have, if you have a contract with my name on it, I'm going to make sure you get your money and it is what it is. All right. Got but you. I do want to say though, Go ahead. it's funny. That I came on here and we had this open conversation. Yeah, don't. And, and it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Open conversation. And where is the scamming? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where is the scamming? There's no scamming going on, black folks. But you, well, well, Garfield. No well, 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 Garfield, let's, let's be real. People would think because of what Travis did. That's why people will feel that it's scamming that goes on your but name. Doggy, even, even, even if what Travis did, though, Travis did what he did. But at least when I reached out to him, he made an effort to try and pay the brother back. No, he didn't. He gave look, him $50. Look at right now. He look gave him $50. People, but even if it's $50, even if it's $50, it doesn't matter, bro. It do, because you get because shot. You tried. No, no, that you ain't tried. trying. 750 is trying. 1000 is trying. $50 off my 1500 I don't even want it. You keep that. You gonna need that for the hospital yeah, bill. Yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, I'll say this to the people: this is not Garfield's fault. All right. So this you, is not you know, you fault. could, you could, you could, so you could feel it's, it's that gonna way. Gonna be rectified. Listen, you could feel that way, right? But for now, Garfield, mm -hmm. you gonna have to hold this L. You gotta hold this L today. You took an L today, all right? You took an L. I don't think that you a piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? I know it's others that are piece of shit. And then you saying that you gonna fix it. That's dope. So all we could do is hold you to your word. If your word is, you know, if your word is everything, that's the dopest shit. But the whole thing is that I respect. This is why I'm going to say I got respect for you. Because you put everything out there as an open book. And everybody's seen things for themselves. And let this be a testament to what's going on with people calling people names. In situations where, yo, Garfield didn't have to do this. Garfield didn't mm. have to do this. We didn't have to let the homie come on and show emails. We didn't have to do that. We didn't have to do that. We could have, you know, a lot of people could have kept things behind the scenes like they do. And let's just put, you know, let's just give Garfield the fair shake to see how his name was being used in this situation. And he's gonna make sure the situation gets rectified, and we um we revisit this. You know what I'm saying? We revisit this somewhere down the line. And, and like I said, I think Garfield is is a good dude who means well. You know what I'm saying? And then to sometimes we we shit just go crazy. You know what I'm saying? So Garfield, I definitely 
um I definitely respect you for for coming on here and I definitely um respect you for you know for 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 coming on here and and you know you you all the way out there you know what I'm saying you all the way out there so um I res I respect you for that so in closing is it the, is it anything else cuz we got to do it well you know what though I I'm trying to you be going in on the Hebrews too I don't know what the hell that's all about but um we we talked about that another time but this was your this was your time to really really clear your name and 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 some things came out today that we're definitely going to um get fixed. Garfield, um, do you want to tell them your channel and how they can reach you or anything like that? Yeah, you can go to Dagger Squad, the YouTube channel, or you can go to Brother Garfield Live, or you can go to Dagger Squad Debates. Okay, Dagger Squad Debates. Dagger Squad Debates. And um, yeah, and you know what? I'm glad. I'm glad I did this interview. You yeah. know, and I hope people understand that if um the whole Q butter thing is what I really call for anyway. And I've never scammed anybody in the community, never. And ain't cool. Um, but at the end of the day, though, um, my brother angling or whatever, I mean, we talk tomorrow, brother. Okay. We talk tomorrow. Okay. So, right. in closing, I am Doggy Diamonds. Make sure y'all please hit them likes video. Hit them like. Let's get those likes up. Um, it's a few hundred people in the room. Um, again, thank Garfield for coming on. All right, Garfield, I'm going to end your call and um, close out. I'll holler at you later on. All right, cool. Thank you. All right. All right, peace and love. All, All right. right. So we had um, Brother Garfield on here. We, Regardless to what anybody might think or how anybody feel about him, he came on here. He put it, It's out there um, for open for the public. You know what I'm saying? So he didn't... He, what, I, what, I, what I definitely respect is that he could have hit and he could have ran and he didn't. So we have to give him um, respect for that. And again, sometimes shit happens and let's let him give Let's give him the opportunity to rectify the situation. So it, it is what it is. I thank y'all for joining me. This is the Keep It 1000 show. We definitely kept it 1000 today. Um, and, um, you know, shout out to homie, homie, if you get some bread, <laughs> You better kick me a donation or some shit because I definitely got you your money and shit. Ain't nobody doing this shit. Um, uh, so at the end of it all, um, if you want to donate all that information, my PayPal, uh, is in the description box. Matter of fact, let me put this on the motherfucking shit. If you want to send me a donation, I definitely take donations and shit. Uh, I got cash app and I have PayPal. So two dollars do a dollar do anything to do you know what i'm saying as my brother aa a. rashid say sock it to my pocket you know what i'm saying but um yeah it takes a lot to do all this thing as you can see i have a nice presentation and um i definitely bust my ass and work hard and i definitely am the interview king you know what i'm saying and that's what it is so uh it is what it is uh you know peace y'all enjoy yourself i definitely um be back later on make sure y'all donate at least if you don't donate definitely hit the like button that's very very important um and definitely um if you new here and you never subscribe before make sure you subscribe and hit the bell next to that's gonna come up hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell to get notifications when i go live because i um cover all types of topics and shit like that shout out to my regulars man who's always here with me um again shout out to brother garfield for coming through and just like that i'm out of this bitch this is the keep it 1000 show y'all ain't never gonna see nobody do no shit where a motherfucker put shit on the screen this is yo anyway i'm out of here peace <laughs>